Hello there my YouTube friends I don't want you worrying I don't want you panicking thinking have I had too much to drink here because I'm seeing double that is correct you are seeing two of the same character yeah it is a word of caution for you guys if you're doing pre-orders on something remember what you've pre-ordered or write it down somewhere put it somewhere you can't forget because I didn't I can, couldn't even remember pre-ordering this one course I ended up seeing them on eBay at a nice really reasonable price I think I got them for about 200 on eBay just over 200 on eBay I was delighted with that price absolutely over the moon couldn't believe it got them in put them into the man cave and I think it was a few days later I got a message through from Phil the guy that I pre-ordered them from saying you pre-ordered out was getting ready to be sent out um, and that was sort of like all right I what, what pre-order was that one I oh, yeah, thought and I was like oh shit um, I've already got one <laughs> damn okay no worries that's why you can see that this one is still in the plastic it is literally still fully sealed the top still sealed everything else I'm not going to touch that one at all I'm probably going to end up putting that one back out and see if I can get some Sort of money back on that one because it, again it was a reasonable price i would wait for the second batch to come out so they were at a reasonable price it wasn't too bad the only issue i had when i eventually got it was that fact that i got charged um for it coming into this country which quite surprises when i ordered it through an english firm i would have thought it would have come from them but no it came through from china and i got charged the customs charge for it um I'm forgetting them. I'm going to look at the box now to see how much I was charged. Because I put it down as being a birthday present. Um, I can't find where the charges are. Hang on. Is it? Yeah, it is. It was sixteen sixty. Right? So it cost us eight pound sixty in VAT and eight pound from Royal Mail handling fee to get it to basically be able to get it, even though it was put down. Now, I think the reason for that is is that the put it down is being worth basically 200 Hong Kong I mean it's I've actually got Hong Kong dollars as 200 which would have been virtually next to nothing we have and I think the, this country's just seen it as being 200 pound you know which then they've sort of said well that needs to be charged so I've got this extra charge on it Um so as you can see I've got two but this one is fully sealed still Thing you'd, the actual top still sealed everything so as far as I'm concerned there should be no issues with that whatsoever the box is in sort of mint condition as far as I'm aware so that one I will be putting up for sale or if somebody sees this video and wants to get in contact with us before I get it up for sale then by all means get in contact with us and uh, discuss a price and we'll see what we can do see what we can come up with but anyway guys we'll get the other one opened up and let you see what you get for your money so as you can see guys the box artwork is phenomenal again on this one I mean it is just really really beautiful and this is a 4 MMS 474 from Infinity War you can see it on the side I don't know how well you can make it out but there is actually the gauntlet there back has all your warnings and what have you on the other side just has Thor with actually an emblem of Thor's hammer in there the top has Thor the bottom will be the same boom and then it has off the slip off cover to start with you just get that bit the slip off and you're greeted with that which I know you probably won't be able to see much because of the light I'm afraid but I will get all the accessories out for you right now and show you what you actually get 
the inner box and here are some of the accessories now if you notice that word i used there was some because i can't actually fit them all in there because you do get obviously which some of these will be thinking to yourself, where's the lightning where's the lightning well there's all the lightning bits inside of there you know, i just couldn't fit them into this thingy that easily so i just thought well i'll leave them in there for the time being where i do this review but yes they are there and yes you do get a set of destructions which i do suggest you read because there is a few parts there that i was unsure of what the hell to put there for it does tell you sort of some of the ranges of motion and what have you and how to be careful with certain bits of it so you don't damage the figure so it's always worth reading them if you've, get, if you've got them which this one thankfully did so as you can see you've got a nicer range of stuff here starting with the the regular stuff which is the spare wrist pegs always nice to have spare wrist pegs hopefully you'll never ever need them but at least they're there in case you do which is always good you have a nice base it goes alongside a lot of the other bases, which I can't show you anything because, like you can see, I don't use the bases unless I've really got to. You know, I prefer not to use them. But there you go, and there's this nice base. And again, we have yeah, the longer dynamic, what's called the dynamic flight pole, which is good because a lot of times you want this type of figure to make some sort of jumping or landing style motion. Again, you have the waist grabber, always good to have them things what's really good about this one is you actually get spare arms so obviously the arms that's on them are the ones that has these um thingy on it it's the one that has the actual armor on whereas these ones as you can see are, are the bare ones which is good because you can actually see the veins in the arm you, know, you can see the detail the forearm and the triceps, the biceps. You, know, you can actually see the veins running through it. So that's pretty good. And you've also got a set of wrist pegs in this one, which is pretty damn cool. So as you, you sit, that would speak English. You're actually getting sort of what would be classed as a spare set inside of here already. You have a set inside the other ones because there's already hands attached to it. And then you get your spare ones there. You can't have gone wrong. You can't have gone wrong, guys. And you can see they're better, probably the actual veins running through his biceps and the forearms. You know, the actual look. It's pretty damn good, you know, and to have a spare arm like that, that you can have them sort of bare rather than with his armour on is brilliant. These things, you know, nicely detailed, just bits of plastic. It's in case you want to take off his actual cape and have him without his cape. You can put these ones in the place with him and remove his cape. So that's pretty good, you know. You've got the two different styles that you can do with them. This thing's sitting here. I don't know how well you'll be able to make them out. But there's two different styles of eye patch. So that's what you got. They'll actually give you two rather than just the one. You get a choice of the two different eye patches you can put in if you want to put them with an eye patch, or you can keep them without the eye patch. Tell it with you. This one, obviously, with it being second hand, I don't know whether he's already, by the looks, has possibly taken a battery out. I'm not sure. I, I honestly don't know because I'm not opening the other one to find out whether there's supposed to be three in there or not. But you'd think by the looks of that, that there might have been three in there. So maybe he just took one out to, to light up the figure. I don't know. I'll have a look when I actually have a look at the figure itself. Obviously, this one that I'm reviewing is this one I got second hand from eBay. You know, hands wise, again, you're getting a good set, you're getting three sets of hands, which is always good that you're getting not getting more hands of one side than the other. You, know, you can see there's a detail there going through them, it's pretty damn good. You get your two open hands, you get your two hands in order to be able to grab a hold the axe you know, that's pretty good and you've got two actual fisted hands which that's 
just a little bit mucky you know just wipe straight off no issues there no problems there that's pretty good and then of course you have Stormbreaker see so when I called it lax before it wasn't because I didn't know what it was called yeah it was just and it's Stormbreaker yeah pretty nice details to it and you actually have a leaf at the bottom to prove it come from Groot yeah it's nice sort of lovely amount of detail to it yeah phenomenal really wicked just plastic thankfully because I think if this had been metal it would have made it really hard for them to hold on to and keep it in one place with fat as plastic makes it a bit lighter but still highly detailed guys that is beautiful so that's what you're getting with it and obviously including the um, lightning and the things the instructions that's what you get now let's get the carrot out and see for himself there you go guys you can see him there and you can see if i've managed to get him to stand up in this light light box which like i say the floor is very very soft very thingy and it moves quite easily then it means you're definitely going to be able to get him to stand up on a harder surface you know so that's that's damn good to know straight away that he will stand up no problem at all on a hard surface we're going to have a look at articulation in a moment but i just want to have a quick look so we'll bring him in and then we'll take this thing up so you can see he's he's a little bear and there you go guys this for me likeness wise i mean yes it's not probably 100 percent perfect but you're never going to get a thing well there's not many you're going to get 100 percent perfect because there is a couple out there that are really really sort of phenomenal likenesses yeah what i'll do is i'll, I'll take this up the stand and show you better the likeness going around it there you go guys that's a bit better isn't it you can see you know the sort of the scar on his eye is there which is spot on this for the beard is probably the best one i've seen them actually do you know hot toys have always seemed to have a bit of a problem with the making the beard look really good on a character but this one is spot on yeah and it's just i think that head sculpt is damn good yeah you see especially that angle you know that angle is mint looks absolutely superb on him yeah but it's from every angle it's pretty damn good the hair has been done pretty well you know you can't see it so well from that because i'm blocking out a lot of the light but that's there it's pretty good you, know, you can see the uniform wise So we'll show you now what articulation you're going to get with this guy. So let's have a look. Head sculpt, you're going to have to realise you're not going to get to go far back because that there the hair is touching there now. So that's as far back as it's going to go. Okay, but you are going to get a little bit of a tilt forward. Not much, as you can see. It's just very, very little. Again, from turning his face side to side, you're going to have to watch for this because it's hard plastic and you don't want to rub it against the actual skin because then it will probably damage it. So you're only going to be able to get him to look a little way each side because of that. Yeah, you can get a little bit of head tilt, but not a great deal. Shoulder motion, it's on a ratchet, that's as far up as it's going to go. So it's not even quite 90 degrees it's just slightly below that's as much as as high as you're going to get it to go because it's on a ratchet going in towards the body not very far at all you can see there you know there's a quite a, a gap 
on his body. You're not going to get that to go in any further than that, which is a shame. There is no wires, or that I can tell, there's no wires in the cape, so you're not going to sort of get it in there. Any sort of like good action dynamic things with the cape, which is a bit of a shame. You know, but there you go. What is can is because the arms can come out, as you know, because you have the spare arms there, then they can twist basically all the way around and it's not going to have any effect on this part of it at all because it's a separate piece. What's a crying shame is that you don't have. Oh, his hands just popped off. That's as far up as it's going to go. You know, that is as much of a bend as you're going to really get. As you can see here, how you're getting the creases straight away in that. So I wouldn't want to have it bent up for very, very long. And as you can see, the hand's popped off, which I will pop back on. Yeah, you've got your normal wrist peg, which to get it to certain ways, you're going to have to twist the wrist peg around. There is no bicep swivel in this one, so that is another thing that you're going to have to watch out for. You know, and you're obviously you're going to get no waist motion because that's like a sort of a solid piece, so you're going to get no motion in the waist at all. Yeah, the legs, well we know what Hot Toys legs are like, they're pretty sort of bad for getting in any sort of angle. I mean, that there. It's what you're going to get because again, one, you've got this sort of crunching here, and two, it's going up against this part of his waist, so that's not going any further than that. Going back over, it's as much as you're getting out of that. Yeah, you're not going to get much more than that because you're going to have to worry about this seam down the front, so that'll be it for that. Knees. Wise, you got a good double bend that you're going to get a bit of creasing. Uh, the front end's pretty good because it hasn't got this sort of leather like material to it, it's got normal material, so it gives it a bit more pliability. But the back end, I'd worry about having it bent over too much. You do have a double thingy, so you're going to get plenty of motion on the ankles because you're just covering it up with. This part of the boot because it's a double split on the boot, so that's pretty good. You know, that you can cover that over, but you're all getting good ankle articulation there, yeah, so that's really good. That's what you want in a figure is good ankle articulation, so you'll get them to stand up on pretty much any sort of surface. And there's just like a quick look. With a couple of items put on them, you know, I'm gonna to have to have a, a look at the instructions myself and read how I do the rest of it and get the rest of them in there properly. And uh, I'll probably show you that a little bit. But there you go, guys. That's I, I actually like what this one looks like. It's probably one of the better ones. I think the is it the road worn one? I think that's another pretty damn good one that I, I wouldn't mind. Um, but I don't have to have too many of these things, you know, the, this is the one, it's the main one I wanted, and I'm happy with this one, this is going to do well, and go well in me, with me sort of stuff that I've already got, you know what I mean, so, there's a few more I'd still like to pick up at some point, you know, I've still got a Hulk at some point, I need to try and pick up, when I get it one at a decent price, but for now, that's him, I will have a look at the instructions, and see how I do the rest of it, and then get back these guys and show you that. And there you go, guys. This with the monum. Excuse the noise of the chair. You can see there how good that looks. Yeah. Like this, it's just spot on. Really, really liking this one. Probably my favourite Thor. So far, I haven't got the road worn one to think with, but I honestly see this is like an absolutely brilliant thaw. The only issue I think I've got is getting them to stand, especially in this light box. His ankles are very, very sort of weak. They move quite easily. So getting them to stand has took me a bloody age. I mean, it's took us actually longer to get them to stand up than it did to change these things over, which they aren't too bad to do. I thought they might have been a bit harder 
the way they were. But you just slip out the black ones that you get and push those ones into place. You do have a left and right in order to get them in the right position. You can change the mover, but it just it doesn't look quite right if you get them in the wrong place. So there is a left and right to have them looking sort of this way. Where do you think that looks amazing? And if I can, I'm going to try and get him so that he looks like he's actually sort of coming down from the sky and about to land when I put him into the man cave properly. But I just think this one is absolutely sweet as. Like I say, they weren't as bad as what I thought they were going to be to, to get out. Yeah, you just pop the other ones out, pop those ones in place. Sweet as. I just think he looks absolutely fantastic. Definitely got to be the best thought of date. Loving it, guys. So anyway, that's my take on this one. I think it's absolutely brilliant. I think the actual details to it are incredible. That you get two sets of arms for them so you can have them with these bare arms or you can have them with the uniform on it's entirely up to you you can have them with his cape on or without his cape on again entirely up to you you can have them with or without the eye patch again entirely up to you i think it's just absolutely spot on you know i'm absolutely loving this one guys so there we go Comment if you want to comment. Even if you want to show us some of your poses, what you've got yours like if you've got one. But guys, I think he looks absolutely amazing. And I'll wait to get him up in the man cave. For now, this is the bearded nerdy wolf. And I am out of here. So, what I believe you were trying to say is thank you. Thank you? You're welcome. What? No, no, no. I, I didn't. I wasn't. Why would I ever <laughs> okay, say that? Okay. I mean... <laughs>